you want precision drifting practice, he go on. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I'm Ivor Evo. We're here on Beam and G again for more drifting. But this time we got some cart tracks. We're going to try drifting on some cart tracks and see if we can't drift on little tiny tracks and some flowy tracks. So make sure you follow me on all social media. I'll find the description box below. Let's get to it. So we're going to start over here and we're going to work our way around these tracks and see where we're at. So first track here, we are using one of the factory BMG drift cars just because why not? I did notice the texture on this for the skid marks is not the greatest on this track. But we're going to go full send. I'm feeling these are going to be very tight, tight corners. So far so good though on this, on this one. Yep. Nice tight hairpin, bring that handbrake around, clutch kick ourselves out, stay there, yep, 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 oh, no, no, I got tighter than I thought. Oh, okay, um, that cone, <laughs> oh, man, that cone decided it does not want to go. So don't hit the cones, they will uh, kill you. I love how this car handles. It's such a fun car to drive. One high entry for a cart track. We have done that too early, a little grass clip, but we're good. So I think we've totally accomplished this track with only dying once with the cone. All the clutch kicks. Oh, we got this. BMNG drifting, so much fun. Oh, because it's also risky. Going, oh, yep, there. Pop the tire. <laughs> I would say, go to all these curves. Found a pop tire somewhere. So let's go to another part of this track. So we're just going to start from the top. And uh, work our way down. I believe we started all the way at... Yeah, we started on that one. So we're going to go... We'll go reverse order. Quick travel over here. This thing looks tiny. Not sure how this is going to work. Curves are very high. It's maybe a second gear course. There's a little bit of clutch damage there. I really gotta adjust that clutch pickup point so it doesn't keep damaging my clutch. Oh, I like the little, little elevation change. It's got a lot of potential for wall taps. Because it's all wall. Huh. Gotta have one crash on every track because I don't know these tracks. So one crash on each one of these little car tracks. Ooh. It's okay. We gotta complete this though. I feel like we gotta actually complete a full lap on this. Without crashing because that turn that I crashed on looks super fun. Probably should have picked a smaller car for this. Instead of this, like, big body car. Well, that was beautiful! Oh, we screwed it up again. But, I mean, that turn was just a, you know, a little turn. But, you know what? We managed to somewhat make that track. So we're going to go to the next one, which looks like a much larger track. Not sure which exact track this is. It might be, might be that one right here. But quick travel we go. Yes, it is. This looks like it's got some high speed stuff going on in here. Oh 
yeah. A little bit of a decreasing radius. Oh, almost came out of drift there, but we left kicked down a little bit. Yeah, this is a... Uh, okay. <laughs> this track... Oh, gain control. This track is... Uh, definitely looks like it could be a very fun drift track. Almost like it's set up for a drift track. This is a cart track, or so-called in the cart track. Uh... Ooh, map pack. I'd say this track is best for drifting, yet I'm doing the worst at this track than I did the other tracks. What's up, dude? You chilling? BMG gets quite tricky when you get into the high speed drifts. I'm noticing. Lower speed stuff, way easier. Oh, that, re that reminds. Did I really blow a tire? Really? Don't pop that curb. That downhill section reminds me of uh, a set of Corsa, and um, the name of the track escapes me right now. If you guys know which track I'm talking about, let me know down in the comments. speed not slow enough we saved it and decreasing radius it we got this we're gonna do it we don't got this <laughs> so we're gonna take a look at a couple more of these tracks on here because we got a whole slew of stuff to get through Oh, this is going to be bad. I don't think we're going to be able to drift that, but we're going to go for it. Oh, there's no way. <laughs> there's no way. Did I slow the time down? I did. We can drift this without dying. It would be a major accomplishment. A lot of handbrake in this course. This almost like a Gymkhana course. Oh my god! Oh, I thought we were gonna hit the front bumper. We did not. Problem with yanking so much e brake on this course. I will blow the rear tires. Got overzealous. Got a little overconfident there. We were doing super good too. Got a little overconfident. Surprised we haven't smacked more walls than we already have. You want precision drifting practice? He go. Oh no! <laughs> I think we almost lost and powered it. I think we almost. I think we did. Oh no, we're good. Not gonna lie, I'm actually having a lot of fun on this little right section course because this is a uh, precision at its best. Oh, almost died. I think we have a couple more small indoor courses. Oh yeah, we got this. Ooh. That was precise. Killing it now. Same spot. <laughs> I gotta not say anything. <laughs> All right, let's see what other tracks we got on here. Oh, jumped in in there. Other tracks we got. We got this track, which I feel like is the, the 
one of the biggest tracks. Look, it's got some elevation changes. Oh, oh, no, not one of the biggest tracks. All right. Oh, it does get elevation changes. Oh, this will be fun. Really should adjust the brake bias so that I can actually left foot brake better. So that I wouldn't have to use handbrake as much. But beam is very handbrake heavy. I'm noticing with these cars. Oh yeah, here we go. Up. Come back down. Oh, a little off cam Ooh. A little camber change. Really aggressive clutch kick. Oh my gosh. The car might have <laughs> might have been almost too tall. If I had any if I had a curved roof, that would have hit that. Just a little tap. That's more than a tap. I think we broke something. I think this movie was the first time we actually broke something? Well, other than those two crashes. Well, this course was quick. Oh. Yeah, we broke. So, we got a couple more courses. Gonna try and get through them all here in this episode. If you guys would keep wanting to see more of this, let me know down in the comment section down below. So, we do have another indoor. Oh, <laughs> right. This is even tighter. No way. There's no way. This is too tight. Need a much smaller car. The car barely fits an angle. We need like a Corolla. I do have one, but... Yo! Oh, no. It's almost a halfway uphill jump drift. This is a little too small. All right, a little too small. That other one was way more fun. So we got two more courses to take a look at here on this track. This one seems like it could be a lot of fun. Because these curbs are raised, I'm very scared to hit them. Oh, those are raised, that's for sure. So we can go on the green section. Do not go past green section because you will curb check your wheel. And that's, you know, got bad day written all over it. Thought about doing a backy, but I just came up a little short. No. So we've been having a lot of fun going through a lot of these different tracks and finding all these fun courses to drift. So if you guys are enjoying this and you guys want to keep seeing more beam drifting, let me know down in the comment section down below. Clutch damage, I really gotta fix that. But we're good now. As I say, I should never say anything, because anytime I say something, we usually tend to screw up. So we're gonna do bad right now. First psychology? It may have worked. Oh, I got overconfident. I'll blow a tire. Popped multiple tires before. Already here in this episode. Which reminds me of some sort of Mario Kart track! Go. We're gonna go. No big deal. Just lost a bumper. Indented our hood and our fender. We're drifting. We're drift car. It's fine. And finished. <laughs> so we got one more track, I think, to finish this episode off. We do. 
And that is this little track here. So as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track. Could not do a 360. I tried.